Bazaar Voice is a social commerce site that helps its customers make more money, but is it making more money? I'm here with Francis Gaskin. So it looks like they're losing money instead of making money. How is that? Well, their top line revenue is up for the uh, uh, year, their years in January. For that year, the revenue is up 62% to 75 million, up from 45 million. But they're right, they're losing 23% uh, uh, on every dollar of sales. What they do is they help clients um, with social media on their own websites, uh, putting in uh, customer ratings and, and comments, and then they take it and distribute it around on other shopper websites around the, around the web. And that, that does help people with their purchasing decisions. But the only thing is, uh, well, if you look at their quarterly increase, the last five, six quarters, they've had very nice increases um, on the order of 10 12% per quarter in revenue. But they continue to lose money. Their, their marketing is 44% in the last quarter of revenue. Um, their side is sticky, but what, what they say is that uh, they spend a lot of money getting clients, but they have good client retention. They have, uh, in 2008, they had 122 clients, and 76% of those are still clients. My problem with them is, is they say they, they serve 30% of the world's global brands. And at this late, state, late, late date, if they're doing that and not making money, I would applaud them for uh, quarterly revenue increases, but I would stay away from it because of their losses. So Bizarre Voice may have a good idea for a business, but if they're losing money, that's a problem. Then we have Proto Labs. This is a company that's got a $60 million IPO. So Francis, do they look okay? Yes and no. Their, their revenue was up about 62% to $92 million for the 2011 year, and their profit was up from $11 million to $18 million. So on that basis, it looks very interesting. Um, the question I have, I always look, as you know, at the quarterly sequential progress, and they were making very good progress, except they took a bump in uh, December. The revenue was down 5%, and, and their earnings were down to $3.2 million from $5.2 million. So I'm a little concerned about that. Um, it's basically a job shop that produces uh, uh, prototypes on a one-day turnaround basis for about 6,000 customers around the world. They get a lot of their engineering drawings uh, over the Internet. So my concern is, is that over time, um, what will happen is, is the competition will be producing faster, better, cheaper ways of doing rapid prototyping. So the customers, and they may be easier to use, so the customers will be able to do it, the competition will be able to do it. So I'm afraid that their market and their competitive, their, their competitive advantage may not be sustainable. But I, I would probably sit in the sidelines on this and see how the March quarter uh, works and, and see what their true growth plan is.